Mr. Stein. Dun, 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 A little bit of history lesson here. I, mean, I, I didn't think this article was going to be interesting until I totally read through it. it. I'm like, this is awesome. He has a very interesting quote. We're talking about Rammstein's drummer, Christoph Doom, Doom. Schneider. They call me Doom Schneider. Maybe Doom Schneider. Doom Schneider. Um, Doom Schneider. You know, he was in a band back in the 80s, East Germany, and he claims there were two spies with him in the band. Would yeah. You like to should, read should I read any? what he said here? All right, people. I'm going to do, for all of you triggered people. Everyone loves your accent. I'm going to do a German accent. And I know. don't find them offensive. And, and, and hopefully you find it offensive. This isn't Klaus Meine, by the way. This is uh, Doom Schneider. Doom Schneider. I'm going to make him talk like this. I'm going to make him talk like this, like uh, like the singer, like Lindemann sounds. Um, in the East, we have professional bands which are all studied music and have official permission to play music. Uh, they were allowed to work as professionals and had the right to charge money. So in East Germany, get this, under communism, you know, I don't like communism. However, um, you need to be certified by the authorities to play music. So you have to go through a test. I like that idea. Like, we need that. <laughs> Like, you know, like, like the oh, test, the test here is the free market. I, 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 we, we need to have a free market music. We, we need to have this like government control uh, regulated. Like, you know, you know, it's not a bad idea. So you were you were. Um, I mean, do you think you would make the cut? No, probably not. <laughs> that's fine. I don't deserve to. Um, neither were my band. But you were only allowed to play 40 percent covers. Um, yeah. And. Like, this could be good or bad. Some bands should probably only play covers. Like, you were expected to do original music. Some bands No probably. cover bands. Yeah, Get some, out of there. Some cover bands are good. Like, some cover bands might as well play covers and not play their own original music, you know, mm -hmm. to be fair. And um, so you wouldn't get, you know, you probably wouldn't get bands like Trivium or Slipknot in this, like this for... I like this. He says, if you were an amateur, you had to be classified at a certain level. There were three levels. And I reached the first one. He was, you know, I was good. Yeah, it's level one, I guess. So he could charge four... Deutsch that's con that's that's hour. that's con that's that sounds like a lot that for is the, 80s. the the Germany's um Germany's. democratic republic of germany <laughs> as they called it the east german all right uh, I, I like it we need right. this we well, need this regulation he goes on to mention he was in like a punk band and so they had a lot of uh Let's read this to get your certificate, you have to play in front of a commission, like a jury, who decided if you are the right songs. I want to be on the commission. Yeah, yeah. Who gets to be in the commission? <laughs> is it like on Back to the Future? Huey Lewis is like, you know, judging you, and he's like, "It's too damn loud." Um, you were only allowed to play forty percent cover, like we mentioned, and uh, actually, it wasn't a bad idea. I agree, um, because bands had to come up with their own stuff, and there's a lot of interesting bands at the time. So, so he was in a band um, called Die Firma. Die Firma. Die firm. And, firm. and I imagine these guys are kind of like this dark kind of craft work kind of thing. That's what I'm picturing. Since you know? they were a new wave punk band, a little yeah. dark with gothic influence. I'm picturing like craft work, but like, you know, really just scary. So this was a this was an illicit band, though, because they had uh, verboten lyrics. You can't have that against the government. Yeah. Mm -hmm. he was, um, well, they're punks, you know. They can't, yeah, so they're being edgy. Can't sing about harmony. They sing against the Stasi. Die Farmer was like a new wave so. punk band. The style was a little dark with gothic influences. We had the lyrics that protested against the system. And if it was not permitted, of course, we were an underground band. All of the other guys in Rammstein were underground bands too. They got to play small clubs, all kinds of fans, freaks, goth punks. The government had the people everywhere. The, the Stasi. Those are some real punks. East German punks. Yeah, they, they imagine what life was like. like just Compare the whole... them to like the SoCal punks. Yeah, you know what? Like that, that should be like a movie about... <laughs> Like, the guys from Ramstein should really, like, write a movie where their experience was in Berlin, like, in East Berlin, like, the music scene. That would be cool, guys. Like, I trust you guys to do it because you guys were there. Like, they're, they're like, really... I, I like the Ramstein because, like, they're, you know, they're from East Germany. Like, they were in so, the shit. But, so the They're spies, so interesting to me. The spies were in the band to, you know, thought police, yeah. people in the music scene. They put, like, their people in there. Well, you know, he goes on to say they weren't professional spies. They're just, they're basically Amateur just, spies. they're just rats. Spies like us. And people paid to give up their friends, so. Okay. Yeah, like junior grade yeah. Stasi. This is so interesting, you know, though. Recruits. Yeah, they're like, you know, junior spies. They're like, hey, would you like some money? Yeah, and they just, you know, it's like spy on these bands. Give us some names. They just put us the names and we all arrest them. Yeah, that's, you know, that's, uh, that's so interesting. Like, the whole East German thing, you know. So, yes, yeah, so. Bring in your hate, your hate comments for me doing 
a German accent. This was like a, you know, this sounds like Lindemann from uh, from Rammstein. You know, I assume that they all talk like that. Yes, they're all from East Germany. See, so the West Germans talk like this. And so East Germans talk like this. This are, they are very mean because they grew up under communism. So they are very dark. Right? Yeah. You upset all our German fans. I know it's your say. Listen, you guys have a sense of humor. You know, I know it's your English is your second language, so they talk stupidly. But imagine if I was they trying to speak stupidly. They talk stupidly. It talks better than you. They talk <laughs> stupidly. Imagine if I was trying to speak German, then you could make fun of me. If I was learning German and I was like, I just look fine, just need I need and then you could make you could do an impersonation of me trying to speak German. Right? It's fine. More hate, please. What else we got? 